Good evening and welcome to E24. In a moment, we'll be hearing from Haitian-born rapper Praz Michel live from our New York studios. The former Fuji star will be talking to me about his and others' efforts to help victims of the Haiti earthquake. Stay tuned for that. But first, it's been 20 years since a dysfunctional but brightly coloured family from Springfield made their debut on American TV. Since then, Hober, Marge, Bart, Lisa and Maggie have made The Simpsons one of the most successful shows in television history. More than 400 episodes, one feature film and countless awards later, it's still as popular as ever. Here's a reminder why. One day you'll learn to move like your old man. I am too smart. I am too smart. S-M-R-T. I mean S-M-A-R-R-T. Still makes me laugh. Well, joining me now is Robin Pearson, whose website, thetvcritic.org, reviews American TV shows, including The Simpsons, doesn't it? Absolutely. Now, tell me, why has Simpsons and its very American humour done so well over here? Well, the humour works on two levels, I think. One, you've got the easy slapstick, some of which we saw there, and on the other, you've got some really quite witty satire. And, of course, British people love their satire and the writers have never been afraid to go after every aspect of American life and there's nothing that's going to win an international audience like making fun of Americans so uh, you can see that the humor has a timeless quality and uh, goes across I think generational boundaries where children can enjoy the slapstick and adults can enjoy the satire. So many famous people have taken part in The Simpsons haven't they? Paul McCartney, Tony Blair, Ricky Gervais, why has it had that appeal? I think one of the things the show has which you couldn't get with a show with actors is, is that timeless quality. You see that distinctive yellow skin and it's looked the same <laughs> from 1993 to 2010. It has that timeless appeal. So I don't think stars are ever afraid of being involved in something that is dated or going out of fashion. The Simpsons has this timeless quality. And a quality of writing, I think it allows celebrities to showcase another side of themselves, not taking themselves too seriously having some fun and, they, of, and sorry, of course yeah. by bringing in those British stars another reason it appeals to British TV watchers. The big question is how much longer can it survive? I would say there's no reason it can't keep going for at least another 10 years one of its great qualities is adapting bringing in things you know mobile phones and computers have come into our lives since the early 90s and they've just adapted them as part of the story so why couldn't it go on doing that for another 10 years it makes a lot of money over in America, it's been syndicated around the world. It may have gone down a bit in quality from a critic's point of view, but I think it has those universal qualities that will go on attracting people for a long time to come. Rowan, thanks for joining me. Let's hope a few more decades of The Simpsons. You're watching E24 from BBC News. A look at a few other showbiz headlines now. And soul singer Teddy Pendergrass has died at the age of 59 in a Philadelphia hospital. The 70s icon had a difficult recovery from colon cancer surgery. Pendergrass enjoyed success with Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes before going solo in 1976. 